Welcome to the Melanated Way. This is your 90 Day Fiance News in 90 Seconds. Y'all, I'm excited about this. There is a new season of Before the 90 Days dropping December 12th on TLC and Discovery Plus. And when I tell you there's a whole new cast of characters, except there's also Isman. So let's meet these characters, you guys. Kim, She's 50. She's from San Diego. And of course, Usman, aka Soldier Boy, 32, uh, from Nigeria. So the caption reads A year ago, 50 year old divorcee Kim reached out to Nigerian musician Usman, aka Soldier Boy, on social media as a fan of his music. But after months of calls, texts, and video chats, the two formed a connection. And Kim found herself head over heels in love, graduating from a fan to a potential girlfriend. Considering his divorce from another older American woman, a.k.a. baby girl Lisa, that he also met online, Usman was hesitant about committing to Kim until they meet in person. So he invited her to Tanzania, where he plans to shoot a music video. Kim is risking everything for love and heading over to Tanzania in hopes that Usman will realize she is nothing like his ex and decides to commit to taking the relationship to the next level. And then let's meet Caleb, 28, from Chandler, Arizona, and Alina, 27, from St. Petersburg, Russia. Caleb and Alina connected and developed a friendship on social media as teenagers, but they lost touch for like 13 years until they serendipitously matched on a dating app when Caleb was planning a trip to Alina's home country of Russia. Those plans fell through, but their newly rekindled virtual friendship blossomed into something much deeper. Now they're finally ready to meet for the first time to see if their emotional connection is deep enough to overcome their physical differences. Alina is a little person and her condition prevents her from walking and standing for long periods of time. So she frequently relies on a wheelchair, making Caleb a free spirit, wonder if he'll be able to adjust to her needs. Further, Caleb also has to win over Alina's roommate and protective best friend, Elijah, who joins them on their inter introductory rendezvous in Turkey. Next up, Gino51 from Canton, Michigan, and Jasmine, 34, from Panama City, Panama. Gino, a 51-year-old automotive engineer, is leaving for Panama to meet the love of his life. Jasmine, a 34-year-old American literature teacher. After divorcing his Brazilian wife of seven years, Gino began to lose hope of ever starting his own family until he met Jasmine on an international dating site and fell in love with her personality, her brains, her beauty. He's hoping to propose and get Jasmine pregnant by the end of this trip, y'all, so that he can have a family he's always wanted. Will Jasmine be the one that finally sweeps Gino off his feet altogether? Or will her jealous side put a damper on their future together. Then there's Memphis 34, also from Michigan, and Hamza 28 from Tanzania. Memphis is a divorced single mom of two. She met Hamza, a 28 year old from Tanzania, online eight months ago. Having had an unstable childhood, followed by a tumultuous dating history, Memphis has been searching for a consistent and reliable partner with whom to complete her family. And she found that in Hamza. After a few months of daily texts and video chat, Hamza proposed and Memphis said yes. Y'all, stop it. <sighs> Despite a significant language barrier and the skepticism of her friends and family, she's packing her bags and traveling to Tanzania with plans to get married on this trip. But does Memphis really know her fiance? No, no, she doesn't. No, she doesn't. He doesn't speak English, but he can say, can you... Don't even get me started. Um, up next, Mike, 34, from New York, and uh, Zima, uh, 24, from Colombia. 
Despite his best efforts of finding love, Mike had been single most of his life until he matched with Eczema, a 24-year-old Colombian single mother of two, a year ago on an international dating app. Eczema speaks no English and Mike speaks only a little bit of Spanish, but that hasn't kept them from falling in love with the help of a translator app. Oh, we've been down this road before. They're already talking about marriage and kids. So Mike is traveling to Colombia with plans to propose and bring her back with her sons to the USA. Has Mike finally found true love after years of searching or is Eczema more in love with the gifts and money he sends her than with Mike himself? Next up is Ella, 29, from Idaho Falls, Idaho, and Johnny, 34, from China. Ella, a country girl from Idaho, with self-proclaimed obsession with Asian culture, met Johnny, her, quote, Asian prince, on social media platform exclusively for Asian men and white women. Once they started video chatting, they realized they found their soulmates in one another. The pandemic made it difficult for them to meet in person and China's borders remain closed. But after a year and a half and a number of false starts, they're finally preparing for Johnny to visit Ella in her hometown and get engaged. Oh, wow, that's spin. He's coming to Idaho, y'all. Um, despite having video chatted intimately over the past few months, Ella's history with rejection from past romantic interests due to her weight has her worried about what it will be like when he, when she and Johnny are together in person. Still, they're both ready to prove that their love can conquer all if they can overcome family skepticism and pandemic barriers. And last, but certainly not least, you guys, Ben, 52, from Michigan, and Mahogany, 24, from Peru. When Ben, a former pastor, oh, Lord. <laughs> when Ben, a former pastor in a strict conservative religious sect, broke free from confinement and his marriage, he struggled to find his way forward. After a bout of homelessness, he eventually found work as a model and caught Mahogany's eye after being featured in a fitness magazine. Her fateful DM led to an intense texting relationship Bonded by the similar religious views, they fell in love and began making plans to meet in person. Despite a 28-year age difference, they like each other. Ben's friends and family see countless red flags from the significant age gap between the two of them, uh, the fact that they've never video chatted. Oh, Lord. But Ben believes that God has brought them together, and this is the path he's meant to follow. Is the relationship divine will or is Ben blinded to the possibility that Mahogany may not be the person she says she is? Y'all, this new season is going to be off the chain and I am 100% here for it. December 12th, dropping on Discovery Plus and TLC.